This is the day after Thanksgiving, and you just don't know what to do with some of your leftovers. We're going to be vacuum sealing it with a Nova Precision Chamber Vacuum Sealer. Let's get to it. All right, so I got this turkey, and I got it left over, and everybody's not going to eat this. You always want to find a way to preserve what you want to eat best for later on. Now, look at this. Anova sent me this Anova Precision Chamber Vacuum Sealer. I've been looking at this for a while, and it just came out not too long ago, maybe about a couple months, and it looks so cool. I always wanted one of these. I have an older type of vacuum sealer. I'm not going to say the name of who, but, hey, I got my hands on one, and I'm going to show you what I do to kind of preserve some food. Now, look, I've already done a few. I got me some dark meat, and, of course, I only eat white meat, so I got me some of that. But the family, they eat that right there. That's To me, that's garbage. But anyway, <laughs> I got me some turkey breast, and I've already sliced it, and then I got me a bag. Now, let's go over here. Let's talk about what we got some settings on here. Now, if you look closely, you got all these little digital settings. Now, you got your infuse. You got your compress. This thing can pickle, y'all, so that's something new that my other one doesn't. And you got dry cool right there. What that does, if you got a fresh baked you know, loaf of bread or some muffins or something, it'll do it without compressing it and just seal it. And then you got your strong and your normal settings. Or, guess what, if you have a jar and you want to pickle in a jar, you got that. Now, look at, for the size, it's not that big, so you can't use a regular mason jar. I'm trying to figure, you know, you got to get some of these other small jars. I don't have any of those, but I'll look into it if I need them. And then you got your settings over here to tell you, hey, what it's doing at the time. Let's just go and get to it and show you how it works. So I got my bag that it came with, and I'm pretty sure, you know, you can if you have your old vacuum sealer, you can seal these up already if you got some old bags. But they got me some pre-made bags already. Let's go ahead and get some of this turkey in here. So just do it how you want, get it all in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just put it in the bag, and what I try to do is shake that to the bottom. All I can. Okay, now that I got that in the bag, I'm going to get one of my, my gloves off, and we're going to get this open. So come over here, let's open this chamber. Now it's got a nice heavy glass to it, I like the weight of that, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Go ahead and lay this bag in the chamber, and then there's a little clip right here. You just slide this, the end of it, under the clip, just like that and just push the clip down, and it stays. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and close this, okay, and then you see the lights come up. Now I've already got it set, so now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna press infuse, okay, and you see the infuse lights up, and I want normal, so I hit normal, and it's telling me 30 seconds right there, and now I can, I can manually push or I can wait. I'm gonna just press start. You see how this joker does. Now, at first, when I first started using this, I saw it and I was like, oh, 20 some seconds went by and it wasn't doing anything and I was concerned, but then it surprised me. And it's gonna come up in a minute, I'm gonna show you. Just wait this thing out. Now, if we come close, I'm gonna show you how it compresses when it starts. Here it goes. Now, it's supposed to get this to the right ceiling pressure. Now, watch this, here it goes. Like a gunshot. Three, two, boom. That fast, and it's over with. Let's go ahead and raise this glass up. Go ahead and get your vacuum sealed turkey out there. And look at that, real tight. I mean, there's no looseness in the bag. With some of these other ones I've used, there's some looseness in it. Whenever you wanna use this again, just go ahead and cut it open. If you cut shallow enough against the edge, you can go ahead and use it and put it back in the vacuum sealer and save it again for later. Hey. Got to get you one of these guys. Till next time, toothpicks.